Hi, it's Malcolm here, and in this short video, I want to show you five ways you could make profit from betting on favourites. We have all heard someone say, you cannot make money betting on favourites. The problem is they left out one important word, blindly. There is no doubt that you cannot make money betting on favourites blindly. Here are some stats to prove it. If you have bet £1 blindly on every favourite over the last four years, then you would have placed a bet on 47,470 selections, one on 16,357 of them, which is a 34.46% strike rate and lost a whopping £1,277.73 and pence, plus all the time and energy it would have taken to place those bets. Here is a screenshot from Pre-R Ratings to show you exactly what I've just told you. So yes, you really don't want to back favourites blindly, but as I've already pointed out, the key word here is blindly. In this video, I want to share with you five ways using PR Ratings or in fact any software or site that you could make profit back in favourites. But we are not going to do it blindly. We are going to find profitable angles using the information available to us. One quick thing, I am going to be talking about Betfair BSP favourites. These can sometimes be different to the normal bookies SP favourites. But in every case, I'm showing you the profit minus Betfair standard 5% commission. Please also remember that I'm only showing you this for informational purposes. Please do not gamble with any money you cannot afford to lose. Okay, let's fire up PR agents and show you five different ways you can make profit on favourites. Okay, so method number one is courses. Um, we're going to look at different courses and the way that you might be able to profit from favourites at those courses. So in PR ratings, I've set it up for say like the last 12 months, so we can see the last 12 months results. So, um, and BSP rank is set at one because that's favourites. Now, if we come down, um, you'll notice that there's these buttons. Now these buttons are what we call quick analyze, which means that you can click on them and they will open a new window um, showing you the results on that on that label like on this one it's course it could be runners it could be class it could be race type the last three early rank 11 a.m pricing and these yellows also are other quick analyze um, buttons that you can select and have featured along here so we're going to go for course anyway so we're going to click course and that will open a new window and when it does you can see that basically we've got the key which in this case is the course so um, Aintree, Ascot, Air, and, and going down. And then we can see the number of selections in the last year, um, the number of wins, the number of losers, and the strike rate at those courses. So as we go down, we can see profit and loss. So we can see at Aintree, favourites have lost money. At Ascot, they seem to have made money in the last 12 months. At Air, they did, and Beverly, they did. And you kind of go down and you can see all these different ones. So you could analyze and select each one of these um, just to see you know, where the profit comes from and all the way down to York. So what we do is we select York because it's right at the bottom and it's easy to select. So if we come here, we'll go down to York, hit York and go and um, please use this button to update your settings, which basically allows uh, PR ratings to reset um, and give us the information that we need. Now, if we come down, um, what we see down here apart from all the other in bits of information, is the results sheet. Now, the results sheet tells us basically what the, um, the quick analyze tells us, but in a more detailed version. So we've got the selections, the winners, the expected winners, uh, losers, um, highest bank drawdown, the strike rate, predicted longest losing run, that kind of thing. All the information, average um, odds, return on investment, um, and total profit, 23.21 points. Um, if we go month by month now, um, York doesn't have um, meetings every month, so there's a big space between the meetings. So this goes 12 months from um, this month back 12 months, which is obviously to the beginning of the ninth. Um, and you can see that 8.23 points this month. This is August in 2019, obviously. 
10.51 points the month before, lost the month before that. Um, gained, lost, but gained. So you can see over the last 12 months that there is profit available um, at um, York. Now, obviously, th these can often be trends. So prices are going up and down all the time, and it just so happens the prices are good enough and the strike rate's good enough at the moment to make profit. But the markets can sometimes catch up on that, and so the way to check that is to look at the trending on BSP results. So PRA gives you this trending information. And if you have a look at it, it's kind of got the same information that we just looked at. Um, in a little bit more detail of average winning odds you need um, to, to make a profit, that kind of thing, the difference between the two of them. Um, but it also gives you these trending graphs, which allow you to see where things are going at the moment. So as we can see, we've made profit over the last few months. Um, the strike rate is going up and down and the trend on the price is going down. So at some stage, if the, the strike rate stays roughly the same and the average winning price goes down, then there won't be any profit. But it could be, you know, it could take a couple more months for it to go down before um, you're totally out of profit. So it's worth keeping an eye on that kind of thing to give you a bit more information. But so that covers um, courses. So number two method is class. So we're going to have a look at class. So again, we can come down um, and we can select class here and again, open another window. And as you can see, generally favorites will not make money on class. But funny enough, on class one, they are making um, profit. Uh, they got a strike rate of 39.53% and have made 39 points up to date. So if we go to PR ratings and we go up to class and select class one and select the button um, and wait for that to update. And you can see if we go down, just wait for that for a second just to fill itself up. If we go down um, you can see again that the trend has been upwards. There was a downward slope, which you know would be expected so again if we have a look at profit this month 8.55 loss last month um three good winning months 32 15 399 you can see the price even here has been dropping but look at this interesting fact okay so um seven six nine then the price dropped down um and the strike rate dropped down a little bit as well but then it picks back up again and so you can see there's this trend in class ones where the price can kind of shorten um, and then it goes out again. So there's def definitely been an up and down trend, which you might be able to get on if you spot it early enough. And the way you can do that again is by looking at the trend. So sorry for moving the window up and down. But if we go to trends again and if we have a look, we'll probably see that. So the trend was up, it went down, it went up, it went down and it's kind of leveled out, which is, you know, a little bit under, but it's it's kind of like it could be going up again so and the strike rate is obviously been going up and down as well and when the strike rate went really down then that's when you would have seen this drop in in profit here but as soon as the strike rate picked up again and the price did again you got into profit again so um really good idea to to look at trends and what they're doing so yeah class one is another place you might be able to find profit on favorites now in number three, um, or method number three, we're gonna look at the number of runners in a race. Now, um, the way I, I set up PR ratings was that it would look at race cards as they are in the morning. So, so the number of runners is the number of declared runners in the race, not the actual number of runners before the race goes off. Um, and the reason I've done that is because basically I wanna be able to look at it like I did in the paper. So if I wanna go back to yesterday, I can see what the declared number of runners was. Because a lot of the times when you go to websites and that, they don't actually tell you if there was non-runners, non it just says there was that number of runners. But I wanted you to be able to look at it and say, oh, okay, there was that number of runners. Okay, so again, we've got a quick analyze button. So if we come down, we can go to runners, click on that, wait for that to populate. Okay. And again, as you'd expect, most times favorites will not produce a profit. Um, but if we come down, interestingly, if we look here, after you get past like 19 runners and 20 onwards, although there's not that many, the actual profit actually goes up. So in other words, these are obviously large runner races, runners, um, you know, where the favourite might not be totally expected to win, the price is a bit high, 
higher on them, that kind of thing. But they do actually win, you know, quite often. So there's not so many selections and it will be a kind of longer idea. But let's have a look at it. So, you know, there, because it's a 20 runner race, there isn't a huge amount of 20 runner races. Um, but we're, we're select 20 runners. Now, don't forget, this is before the race. Um, this is the declared number of runners in the morning. So by the time you get to the race, there might be less than 20 runners. So, you know, don't take that. Take the 20 um, or whatever the declared number was in the morning. OK, so if I update that. OK, so we've got 20 to 50 runners. If we come down to the results sheet. OK, again, we can see we've got 27 points profit. So if we do the same thing we have been doing and go to the trend, which is up here from the MBSB, and we can see what's been going on as far as the trend. And as you can see, it is a trailing trend, but it's still available. Strikeway is going up and down, as always, um, but the profit has obviously been going up. This could be a short-term trend, but it's worth looking at, and there's still a bit, there could still be a bit of profit in it. So, yeah, so there's another one that you could check out. OK, in method four, we're going to combine a couple of little ideas together. So first of all, we're going to activate one of the columns on weight ranks. So I'm going to tick there. This will open up another column of information for us. Um, and we'll be able to analyze this a little bit better. And if we come down. And so now we have weight rank, um, which is this button here, which again is another quick analyze button. And we're going to click this. OK, so again, um, when we look down, you know, as normal, there will be um, a lot of favorites will not make profit. But then you get these odd little places. So we're going to have a look at weight rank three. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to weight rank, which is here and change that to just three. So we can see this number and we're going to click and update. And we just wait for the results to come in. And if we come down, we can see that um, it's kind of been a trend upwards. It's kind of not been a lot of profit um, over the last few months. So a little bit here and there. Um, so the trend is obviously kind of leveling off. And if we have a look at the BSP trend, um, we'll probably be able to see that. So yeah, I mean, it's going up and down. It's kind of leveled off there. Also, the strike rate's kind of dropped down. So if we suddenly see a rise in the strike rate, that'll probably send the profit up as well. So that's why you can see that you've had this spike of profit and then it's kind of um, settled down because the um, average winning price has been going up and down quite low. Okay, so, but what I want to do is show you a slightly advanced method that you can use, and that's looking at prices at different times during the day. So what we're going to do is look at 11 a.m. trending results. So this is using 11 a.m. price against the favorites or the ones that went off as favorites. Now, as you can see, um, there's a lot more profit. And this is over that, that 12 months again. And there's a lot more profit taking the price earlier um, a lot, lot more profit. And that's purely because obviously by the time um, it gets to the race, if they're a strong favorite, the price is going down and down and down. And you can see that, you know, the trending price, uh, the, the actual trending price is up, the profit is up and everything else. Now, for those uh, people who are in a suit and watching will be saying, yeah, but at 11 o'clock, I won't know what the favorite is f for sure. Yeah, you know, some of these may not be favorite, but even if 50% of them weren't favorite and you traded some of that out, you know, you'd still be in a profitable situation, but you'd never, 50% of them won't end up not being favorite. 10% of them might, might be, or even 20%, but not, um, not enough to knock out all that profit. So, you know, if you go to 11 a.m. prices or somewhere around that and take it from there, then you may find that it's um, it's a profitable way of looking at it, even though those selections may not end up as favorite at the end. OK, so we finally got to method five. Now, in this method, we're going to go a little bit deeper, not too deep, but a little bit deeper. Now, I'm a great believer that all race types are different. Um, I'll let, let me explain that a little bit more. So uh, up, up here, I don't know if you can see this. Let me um, get a pen up here. 
you can see that there are a number of boxes aw all weather chase flat hurdle and national hunt flat so to me you know somebody a runner that's running well on aw doesn't necessarily mean they will go to flat and run well or go to you know make the move to chase and do well that kind of thing so i prefer to go like for like so if i'm analyzing um a way of profit or making profit from racing i tend to look at race types only so i will tick on aw and then analyze on aw and let me show you what i mean by that so i am going to actually select all weather okay and we're going to um, update pra and so it just gives all weather results um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up another um, column which is the draw column now aw races um, very much like flat races tend to get run out of stalls um, so you know stall one two three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever um, some track courses have a bias towards one stall or another generally punters know this and you know the the, the prices are kind of weighed towards that um, so but you will find that there are biases on courses and when there were, you know, when there are new courses come on board, it takes a while for people to real, you know, work out where the bias is so you can make profit that way. Um, but there are still profit to be, there is still profit to be made on a bias if you can find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open draw. Okay. As I've done here and we're going to come down and we're going to click on draw. Okay. So as we'd expect a lot of these, um, favorites in these different drawers actually lose um, profit we know that but there's this interesting one here on uh, draw five where there's 43.5 points profit there are also on the outer drawers um, 9 10 um, 11 12 13 and 14 where there's profit as well so we could analyze those all together or individually but we'll have a look at this number five because that's quite interesting so if we come back to pr ratings and we come up to draw and select five we should be able to get some results and see where the profit is and how it works so we'll just wait for that to reload Okay, so we're just waiting for the results to load and then we can go down and have a look. So again, we're showing a profit line going upwards. If we look um, to this month, there's been 2.29, 6.8, the month before. So, so it's not a big ma money maker, but points are points. And you can add these little systems together or these little methods together to create more and more profit. Um, into some kind of portfolio. So if we have a look again at the trend in BSP and see again where the um, pr the average winning price actually shot up for a while and has gradually worked its way down, but it's still showing profit. Strike rate is up. What you'll probably find is that if we analyze the courses, you may find that it's particular courses, if we have a quick look, that tend to make more money than others so if we look here so yeah if we if we look then chelmsford c there's profit kempton there's profit there isn't at lingfield there is at newcastle and um, there isn't at seven wall so you probably want to concentrate on these three together uh, and and look deeper at them to see you know where that profit is coming from but that's how how you do a little bit go a little bit deeper but of course you can go a lot deeper than that if you really want to with over 70 filters available to you on pr ratings so there you have it, five different ways you could make profit on favourites. If you like this video, then please subscribe hitting the red button below. If you would like to find out more about PR Ratings and get your free method, then please see the link prratings.co.uk in the description below. Until next time, it's Malcolm signing off. Bye bye.